Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks so much for the Patreons that I do have that help support this channel financially. Much appreciated. And remember, folks, it's Just Whiskey. Today we are going to be talking about and reviewing the Auden American Cash Strength AD slash O2 22. Cash Strength comes in at 58.7% ABV, non chill filtered, no added color, and the bottle comes with no packaging except for it is wrapped in this very thin tissue paper with a map of Odd American in the Western Highlands of Scotland. So that's kind of cool. Um, it is kind of neat, but in a way kind of unnecessary, but it is minim minim minimalistic. So in that regard um, to the environment, when you're done with it, you could always use it as a... Uh, a nice little fire start starter for a fireplace or you could use it for gift wrapping you know people like to stuff those things inside their little gift bags all right um there is a qr code on this if you scan it it gives you incredibly detailed information about this um including but not all about what i'm going to say um this particular bottle that I have, it actually tells you the gentleman's name who actually bottled this. And this is bottle number 51 of 1200 for that day that was bottled on February 23rd, 22. And Odd American is owned by Adelphi Independent Bottlers. And Odd American started distilling in 2014. Okay, and they use on-site dunnage warehouses. So this particular batch, I couldn't find the exact number of bottles, but I did some very rough math and I came to the conclusion it's probably at least 14,000 bottles for this particular bottle. And they're all, um, even in the U.S., there's 700 milliliter bottles. Um, this particular cast strength batch that they have here is... Um, 50 casks um, married together mostly uh, ex-bourbon and mostly uh, peated ex-bourbon I could not find the PPMs that they use but it is in my opinion it's low um, I would just guess under 20 PPMs but I'm not sure um, so yeah approximately close to 45 or ex bourbon and the majority of those ex bourbon are peated and then there's some like five or six or eight uh ex sherry hogsheads which are a little bit bigger than the um american standard barrels so that's what i use for it roughly calculating to figure out it's probably at least fourteen thousand, maybe 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 a little bit more than that and um they use concerto bali for this and what I did find interesting is their new make is cut at 75% um, ABV and then diluted with spring water down to 63.5% ABV before they fill the casks. Okay, And this cast strength offering, uh, the fermentation was 76 hours. It retails in my area for about $90. It's a non-age dated, although they do tell you the um, the date that the casks were filled. So I came to the conclusion that it's approximately seven years old, maybe a little bit older than that, but for the sake of argument, seven years old. Um, that covers all the specs really um let's get into the nosing and tasting all right on the nose you're getting sweet honey 
a little bit of vanillas in there you're getting that uh, berry candied fruit okay not very candy but strawberries raspberries that almost artificial candy uh, fruity is the, is the main thing also to um, a, a little bit of lemon um, on the nose there's no detectable heat okay so it's it's um, very comforting on the nose and there is a, a light peaty funk that that is there um, but it's it's very light um, I'm not detecting any smoke at all okay if you ask me again the PPMs I would say very lightly peated you know be, between 10 and 15 ppm maybe 20 at the most but that's just my uh my guess you also um yeah it's predominantly candied fruit on the nose with a little bit of peaty funk This is very nice, very viscous, um, sweet, syrupy. The sweetness transitions to a little bit of a bitter astringency, um, which offers some complexity, which I do like. And again, you're picking up that candied fruit. Um, at first pour, you can feel the heat and the power from this but I would not describe it as being hot or overly spirited uh, in, in any fashion. Um, it's also a hint of coffee, cocoa in there. Okay. And the finish is medium to long, easing into the longness. Um, and I would describe it, if you had juicy fruit gum but with that artificial saccharin sweetener in there so juicy fruit gum with a bit of a astringency is is how i would describe the finish um it being cast strength it does swim well with a few drops of water um so play around with that as much as you like did anybody say spring bank <laughs> I'm not going to go on the on the record for saying that this is a spring bank alternative or substitute, but um, it's in that uh, right church wrong pew. We'll, how how about that? We'll leave we'll leave it at that. Um, also, to uh, a gentleman that has a whiskey tube channel called Whiskey on the West Coast just recently reviewed this as well um, so check out his channel and review of this um, he does a great job and he's a, a fairly new channel um, so yeah check that out my score on this is a solid 88 um, I, you've been this is like the talk of the town now we've been hearing a lot about odd and american for good reason um, the put the stuff is still young but it's not too young by any means and i i think what everyone's saying and I, I concur is that very much looking forward to seeing what this um distillery is going to be doing with some higher age statements on there when they get to 10 12 years um very much looking forward to that um they are doing everything right and they're very transparent and again by scanning i guess on any bottle their qr code you get a wealth of information although i could not find the ppm on that um so hope you enjoyed today's review if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and consider becoming a patreon with the link in the description below and remember it's just whiskey folks hats off to you all and take care and iggy's got a new album out